Assalam o Alaikum. How are you all, students? Dear students, hope you all are well. I am your SST teacher. I am your SST teacher for class five IVS school. And listen my instructions carefully. Keep your keep your textbook and notebook along with you to note down important points. That is my first topic. So. Pollution means making the work dirty by adding harmful and unpleasant material to it. Simply means the wrong material in the wrong place in the wrong time. So, as you know it very well, pollution is the biggest threat nowadays, and we are facing lots of the problem because of the pollution. The things which pollute our environment are called Pollutants. This is the def correct definition of the pollutant. Pollution affects our health and quality of our life badly. Pollution can be grouped in three main categories air pollution, water pollution, and land pollution. Air pollution is uh, solid particles and mixture gases in emissions of car what is the meaning of the emissions the meaning of the emission is emit emit from the vehicles from factories chemicals from factories chemical from different factories dust in the air smoke from vehicles and industries power plants and burning of trash makes the air dirty when people make the air dirty, as you have seen the pictures on the screen, that there are the different type of the pollution, air pollution, water pollution, and land pollution. So, I just want to share something about it. When people make the air dirty, they pollute it. Polluted air is harmful for living. Are you hearing me properly? Pure is harmful for leaving things. It can make people sick. Coughing, people are suffering in heart and lungs problems. Older adults and children are at greater risk of the problems from air pollution. Air pollution doesn't occur only on the outside. The air inside buildings can also be contaminated and affect our health. What is the meaning of Contaminated. The meaning of the word con contaminated is infecting organism. People also pollute water, dumping garbage in the water, make it dirty. Water also become pollute, pollute to the the meaning of savage oil and chemical spills from the different industries and ships. Insect insecticides. What is the meaning of the insecticides and the pesticides? The insect insecticides and the pesticides are the sprays that are sprays on the corpse in order to protect from the harmful insects. And some of the cleaning products used in our homes also pollute the water if they are not disposed of properly. Polluted water makes people sick. It can kill. It can kill plants and animals that in order in order to eat, drink from it because becomes dirty when the trash thrown improperly. Sometimes people ruins. Ruins, what is the meaning of the ruins? It means destroy the beauty of the nature but by throwing junk and litter on the land. Soil also polluted excessive excessive means overmuch use of fertilizers and pesticides. Fertilizers means that it is the different type of the fertilizer that is using in the growing the crops. Improper dispose of trash containing dangerous chemicals, substances makes the soil dirty. Polluted soil reduces the land available. Land available for growing crops, it also destroys the habitat of the animals and the plants. What can people do to reduce reduce the pollution? There are the different type of the problems that they are facing. The 
by the people. Here we are discussing about the air pollution and water pollution. I am going to tell you about other further detail, further detail about the water pollution. Water is being dirty. Land becomes dirty, and that trash. People also pollute water, dumping garbage into the water, make it dirty. Water also becomes also polluted due to the sewage, oil, chemicals, spills from the different industries and the ships, paints, insecticides, and some of the cleaning products used to our homes also pollute the water if they are not disposed of properly. How? We have seen lots of the examples. People also pollute water, dumping garbage into the water, make it dirty. Water also becomes polluted due to the savage oil, chemicals, spills from the different industries and the ships. Paints, insecticides, and some of the cleaning products used in our homes also pollute the water if they are not disposed of properly. That is the biggest problem. Some of the cleaning products used at homes also pollute the water if they are if they are not disposed of properly. Polluted water makes people sick, and it can also damages our lungs, and may, which may be also suffer the people in heart diseases, and some of heart disease. Not it can also it can also damage the not only the adults, older adults, and other people. And our cares also damages from this thing. As you have seen the pictures on the screen that are from different type of the pollution. And in the picture, you can also see you have also seen that all uh, different type of the chemicals and uh, and and trash material that are thrown by different companies and industries and which which pollutes the water and as well as pollute the air so in order to in order to land becomes sturdy when the when the trash is thrown improperly, sometimes people ruin the beauty of the nature. What is the meaning of the beauty ruins? Land cleaning products used in our homes also pollute the water if they are not disposed of properly. Polluted water makes people sick. It can kill plants and animals that in in are to drink from it. It becomes and becomes dirty when thrown improperly. Sometimes people ruin. Ruins means destroy the beauty of the nature by throwing the junk and the litter on the land. Soil also gets polluted, excessive amount. What is the meaning of the excessive? Excessive means, excessive means most of the things Excessive means destroy the beauty of the nature by throwing junk and litter on the land. By throwing junk and litter on the land, what does it mean? By throwing the junk material. Junk material that is our waste material that we can that we are dumping on the that we are dumping in, in the That we dump, uh, thrown is improperly. Sometimes people lose become uh, means destroy the beauty of the nature by throwing junk and litter on the land. Soil also junk and litter on the land. Soil also as polluted, excessive, over much. Excessive means over much. Use of fertilizers and pesticides, improper dispose disposals of trash con containing dangerous chemicals. Substances makes the soil dirty. Polluted soil reduce
polluted soil reduce different types of can make the soil dirty polluted soil reduce the land available for growing crops it also destroys the habitat of the animals and the plants for the living things it is very dangerous pollution is the biggest threat as we have seen we are suffering different type of the diseases nowadays and we can't overcome those diseases because of the uh, pollution if we have controlling the if if we get control on pollution if we get control on pollution so we can easily what can people do to reduce the pollution here are the some suggestions to reduce the pollution how can we overcome of these all sort of the pollution because it is it damages our lungs our heart and different type of the disease which we are suffering now or days so here are the some suggestions which i am going to tell you i am telling you before that it is a topic of reduce reuse and recycle which we have learned yesterday and now i am continuing the topic that one topic again it can be linked and it is given in your book page number 10 11 and 12 and i am giving the clear instruction regarding this so you so that you can listen me carefully here are the some suggestion to control the pollution to reducing the pollution what can we do people can also help keep the air clean they can use they can use buses or trains instead of car people that they are traveling in mostly in the buses in cars in the different type of the vehicles instead of using this type of the vehicles we should use different type of the uh cycles and other things that they are not dangerous for the environment now next is people can also keep the air clean by not burning trash using cleaning cleaner fuels can also reduce the air pollution by vehicles industries of factories can use cleaner technologies as we have noticed in our daily life if we are burning trash it can also be the dangerous for the environment and pollute the air as well as we can use different type of the cleaner fuels can also reduce the air pollution by vehicles by vehicles and other things how we should uh, use different type of the cleaner fuels that they are available in the easily in the markets people can also ask their representatives in the government to make laws for controlling air pollution it is one suggestion that we are making the dif different type of the laws to make the city and as well as to make the vicinity clean what is the vicinity means vicinity means mean area that they, uh, that you are leaving is called vicinity people can also help keep water clean by not dumping garbage garbage into the water they should dispose their trash which contains dangerous which contains dangerous of the dangerous of the environment they should dispose their trash which control chemicals and oils and dump in properly the the factories can use advanced waste water treatment plants before disposing of their waste material into the water people can keep their locality clean by not throwing trash in proper places as we have seen in our environment in our city mostly people that they are not be able of the social awareness mostly people that they are dumping their dumping their trash home trash on the roads on 
not there dispose of properly now the third one is water factories can also advance waste water treatment plants before disposing of their waste material into the water instead of uh, dumping their waste into the water they should use another another way to dump their uh, factories people can keep their locality clean by not throwing trash improperly in proper uh, places they can also make less trash in order to control the pollution if people they are making less trash water they can also make less trash using less fertilizers what is the meaning of the fertilizers as we are discussing about those things that they are growing the crops is called the fertilizers if you are pesticides we know it very well the meaning of the pesticides and uh, insecticides i have already told you the meaning of the insecticides and pesticide the insecticide and pesticide the, the sprays that we are uh, sprays on the crops from in order to keep from different type of the insects they can also make less stress you people can plant more trees and use natural fertilizers to make the land more fertile as we have seen in our environment trees plants and they are those type of the plants that they can control the pollution easily we could we must grow that type of the plants to grow, to control the pollution there are many organization in the world which are working to pro protect the environment these can be asked for help many countries in the world today are facing the problem of pollution and we can also treat we can also uh, use different type of the ways to reduce the pollution the developed countries are making serious efforts to decrease the level of the pollution but it is the opposite in many developing countries which are rapidly rapidly means quick action quickly becoming industrialized our country is also a developing country and efforts should made by all the people the government and industries to keep our environment clean and safe it is necessary that everyone becomes aware of what is happening to the to the land water air around us we need to think of ways to avoid polluting our land water and air so here are some suggestions to control the pollution which i am going to tell you later on we will discussing about the another thing people can also people can help keep the air clean by maintaining their vehicles engine as if you are traveling from one place to another place so you have seen in your environment lots of the buses and lots of the vehicles that they are emitting the smoke that they are the dangerous for the environment now the second one is people can also reduce the air pollution by not burning trash this is the another way mostly persons that they are mostly burning the trash you know in order to place the now third is industries or factories can use cleaning technologies as we have discussing okay nowadays different type of industries and factories that they are using different type of the cleaning cleaning technologies in order to control the pollution people can also ask their representative of the government which i i am telling you before to make the laws as we have seen in our european countries and other countries that they are making the strict strict laws if some some persons throw the garbage on the on the floor on the roads and other thing they they will have to pay the penalty such type of the rules and laws which making our government so we can control we can overcome the pollution in our environment now people can also help keep water clean by not dumping the garbage into the water garbage different type of the garbage and picnic places 
we uh, if we have gone over there so different type of the people dumping the garbage like plastic bottles juices boxes and other thing that they are dumping in the on the in the seas those things are not uh, those things are dangerous for the environment they should dispose their trash which contains dangerous chemicals into the water and oil properly and last and most important thing that is and by following the three r reduce reuse and recycle we can control the pollution as we have discussing yesterday reducing purposes reducing consuming and throwing away less if you are if you are using that type of the such type of the things that are the long lasting so we can control the pollution second is second is uh, reduce reuse if we are using things over and over again we can control we can control our pollution we can control our pollution now third one is recycling that is the most important the the things which we made from the waste material in the into into the new material is called the recycling that is the most important things that is the most important three r's third one is recycling and for implementing by implementing three r's reduce reuse and recycle we should control the pollution in our environment and nowadays different type of the countries of the world that they are implementing of these on these three r's in order to control the pollution here are the students i'm going to tell you i'm going to give you the questions regarding your chapter i just want to share the screen you just uh, write up jot down all the question in your fair copies and write up the answer so first is what are the first question is what are the pollutants that is given the answer is along with the the answer is given the things which pollute the air is called pollutants pollutants is the things that pollute the environment like the smoke from the vehicles which is not disposed of properly that is the one question that you will have to do in your fair copies now the next is define these terms reduce reuse and recycle and answer is given in the answer is given in the book page number 10 what are the advantages of recycling there are many advantages of recycling through recycling we can save our energy recycling plants don't pollute water air as much as plant for new products recycling also provide many jobs to the people these are the questions and i if you are willing if you are want to you can take a screenshot of all of these uh screenshots which i which which is which i am going to place on the screen you just a screenshot now the next is mind map this is your mind map you just write up 10 points regarding the topic of reuse objects meanings we have discussing about this one topic yesterday develop a mind map on the given topic reuse object names we have discussing yesterday Lots of the things that can be reuse, reuse again and again. So, in order to control the pollution, we have different type of the plastic jar, plastic bottles, containers, and other things. So, just to place ten points, at least ten points. Have you taken the screenshot of these? Have you taken the screenshot of these? All of these, the my map and uh, your. another things that i am going to share on the screen so now the next is i have already shared the question answers second is mind map and thirdly i am going to share with you that are the blanks you will have to place all these things in your copy and write up the answers and maintaining the mind map and third is question answers and the uh, black and blue are marker you should use and black pointers as well as for face sheet
here are some blanks with the blanks which I am going to share with you in order to in order to write those answers in your copies these are the blanks you just uh, screenshot of these blanks these are at least 10 blanks this is the first page and next is This is the first page of the blanks. You have 10 blanks and you just write these blanks in your copy. Your copy. Last one is uh, you say the blanks that are the uh, 10 blanks. If you have this, just uh, take the screenshot all of these. These are the 10 blanks I'm going to share with you. First is domestic waste is increasing due to due to dash. That second is Dash is the highest threat to our environment. Third is using things over and over again. It is fourth is making new products from waste material. Is you can avoid pollution by making dash trash. Recycling needs energy. Dash means consuming and throwing away less. Dash means using things over and over again. Recycling also provides many dash to the people. Recycling paper is used to make dash. So these are the blanks which I am going to share with you. We just a screenshot from first page to last page. This is, yes, this is your homework, home task. You just complete your home task. by writing the answer of all of these questions in your copies, you just complete it.